So there have been significant developments in that conflict in the Middle East within the last few hours. Uh, let's bring you up to date with what we know so far. Israel says it has freed one of its soldiers who was abducted by Hamas. The military said that Private Ori Megadish was doing well. It is the first known rescue of a hostage since Hamas seized more than 200 people from Israel earlier this month. The group has released a video that's been recorded under duress. It shows three women being held in Gaza. One of them is fiercely critical of the Israeli government for not doing enough to free them. Well, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has described the footage as cruel psychological propaganda. With the very latest, our Middle East editor Jeremy Bowen reports now on the day's developments. There's good news for one family at least. Private Ori Megadish was rescued by the Israeli army last night. She'd been held in Gaza since the 7th of October. For the rest of the hostage families, the agony of waiting goes on. In the center of Tel Aviv, the families of the hostages have set up a vigil opposite the Ministry of Defense. These are the faces of many of those who are missing. There's a table set for a Jewish Sabbath dinner, empty places for those who are held in Gaza. And along with the concern, more of the anger at the actions of Hamas, which is powering Israel's response. Annihilate Hamas. So it won't happen again and again and again. From Masada to the Holocaust, never again. You cannot butcher Jews mano a mano, joyfully, send messages to your parents, I killed 10 Israelis, I'm using the phone of one of them. After the video was released by Hamas on social media, the Israeli government said it was hugging the families of the hostages. But some of those families blame the prime minister and his government for not listening to their warnings about border security. In the hostage video, so does Danielle Aloni in the center. She calls for a deal to free the hostages and to free Palestinians in Israeli jails. Prime Minister Netanyahu's response was a ringing call to support Israel in this war. Victory over these enemies begins with moral clarity. It begins with knowing the difference between good and evil, between right and wrong. The images of the 7th of October torment Israelis. The Prime Minister has not accepted any personal responsibility for the failure to protect the border. The body of Shani Luke, a German-Israeli tattoo artist, has been recovered by Israeli soldiers inside the Gaza Strip. Her family recognized her in a video of gunmen celebrating her capture, and they'd hoped she was a hostage. Life is on hold here in the Israeli towns close to Gaza. Most people have moved somewhere safer with no end in sight to this war. Hamas took hostages in the first place to gain leverage over Israel. When the Israelis launched their ground operation, when talks to release those hostages were still going on, they said they would not grant Hamas any kind of impunity for what they'd done. But now by making this video, Hamas has hit back with a calculated act of psychological warfare directed at the Prime Minister. The Israeli military has released video of its tanks advancing into Gaza. Somewhere out there are the rest of the hostages. Israel has declared a clear objective to wipe Hamas off the face of the earth. Assuming its tanks and troops can do that, Israel has not spelt out what comes next. Israel continues to inflict pain and death on Palestinian civilians. Throughout all the wars in Gaza, Israel's assertions that it targets Hamas and not civilians have been dismissed here by Palestinians as lies. This war is no different. In the grounds of Shifa Hospital in Gaza City, another Palestinian couple mourn their dead children. Israel claims there is a Hamas bunker under the hospital. This looks as if it will be a long war, with cruelty heaped on cruelty. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, in southern Israel.